This podcast is very short and will show you how to do a Boyle's Law problem. This is an actual worksheet that you have. Please find the correct page and have handy a calculator. If you can't find the page, please be sure to check on Moodle. We always post PDFs of all the handouts for every unit there. There's also this PowerPoint on Moodle as well as this little podcast. So let's take a look at this Boyle's Law problem and number one, figure out how, what kind of problem it is, if it didn't already say Boyle's Law at the top of the sheet. A three liter pocket of air at sea level has a pressure of 100 kilopascals. Suppose the air pocket rises in the atmosphere to a certain height and expands to a volume of 10.0 liters. What is the pressure of the air at the new volume? So the first thing I see is they don't say anything about temperature. So if you know temperature is constant or if the problem doesn't measure temperature at all, then it is a problem about volume and pressure. And there's a silly little mnemonic that I like to use. Boyle is the VP. So if Boyle is the VP, then that means I need to find initial and final values for the volume and the pressure. So the next step is I go through and identify what is the starting volume, what is the st starting pressure. And as you can see, it starts with a 3 liter pocket of air, P1, and it's at a pressure P1 of 100 kPa. I put a little dot after the second zero so that one would have three sig figs when I solve the problem. So then I read again, it expands to a new volume, that must be the V2, and then you look for keywords like, what is the new pressure, or what is the pressure, and that's clearly my P2. Now I'm a list maker. So over here on the far left-hand side, you can see I've made a list of the four values. Up at the top, I've got my silly little mnemonic, boiled is the VP, and I've plugged in the values that each of those um, items' um, numerical value is. So where did I get P1 times V1? equals P2 times V2. Remember that silly verbal mnemonic I taught you, the sound pivot, P1 times V1 over T1? That's where the pivot sounds come from. So P1 times V1 over T1 equals P2 times V2 over T2. That's actually called the combined gas law. But since temperature is not part of this problem, just eliminate the temp, and that's where the P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2 came from. So now it's basic 8th grade algebra. I substitute in the values and now you can say I put the little decimal point after the 100. So we have 100 kilopascals times 3 liters, that's our P1 times V1, equals, I don't know, times 10.0 liters. So the unknown is the P2. Again, Eighth grade algebra says I should be able to rearrange that equation. And here it is rearranged, where the P2 must be equal to the P1 times V1, 100 times 3, divided by the V2. And that's the 10 liters that's right here and here. And that's why it's divided by 10. Just as a shortcut, and don't bother reaching for your calculator, isn't 100 divided by 10, 10? And wouldn't 10 times 3 equal 30? So this is the kind of problem where don't reach for the calculator if you can quite simply do it in your head, especially if you're working on a time test. I reported the value to 30.0, which has three sig figs, and I am done. So what I'd like for you to do is complete the next two problems, and your teacher will provide a key for you to check. Then there will be a following worksheet that includes Boyle's Law problems, which once again you always recognize they have to do with the impact of changing pressure on volume, and note that the temperature is either not mentioned or stays constant. That's it. Pretty simple.